winner in a digital age, Smashbox Beauty, the Estee Lauder acquired firm based out of Los Angeles, announced that they were stopping print advertising. But it doesn't appear to have held them back. They have grown double digits this year and are now the second fastest growing brand in the Estee Lauder portfolio. Their digital efforts include a Love Me campaign that involved projecting images submitted by social media users onto over 15,000 billboards across Los Angeles during Oscar week. The brand also opened up their studios to video bloggers, and the hashtag Made at Smashbox playlist has over 8 million views on YouTube. The loser here? Movie stars and celebrities. Beauty vloggers draw over 700 million YouTube views per month and have revolutionized beauty marketing, holding more influence with 13 to 24-year-olds than most mainstream celebrities, especially among teens. For beauty and hair care brands, vlogger channels attract 15 times more channel views and 108 times more subscribers than the underlying brand, meaning the brand should stick to being advertisers, not content makers. Video bloggers also dominate search. Two-thirds of first page results for brand terms are vloggers, and only 8% of those results are from brand pages. A loser in a digital age? Weight Watchers. Competing with free weight loss information on the internet and with the popularity of wearable devices like Fitbit has threatened the long-term viability of the most successful weight control organization in the world. Shares have fallen, or should we say shed, $76, $80 to $4 in three years. That is a meltdown. An average 15,000 tweets per day are posted on Twitter related to weight loss, and the term diet received 5 million Google searches last month. Of course, that number was higher in January when searches for the term diet were up 56% over December and then dropped 26% the following month as New Year's resolutions fell by the wayside. GOP presidential candidate Ben Carson has stated that Obamacare is the worst thing since slavery. We're going to skip right over Japanese internment or Vietnam. As Jim Clark said, if we're going with opinions, let's go with mine. Otherwise, let's look at the data. So what does the data say? The number of uninsured adults in the U.S. 18 and over has fallen to 11.4% in Q2 of 2015. That's down from a high of 18%. Obamacare is working. So it's definitely been the summer of jailbreaks as the media focuses on some pretty innovative escapes. I know that when I'm hiding in a conference room because I'm hungover, I leave pepper at my desk so people think I'm still working. But anyways. We are finding in a digital age that technology is actually catching criminals. One woman's claim of a violent attack was refuted when her Fitbit became a witness against her. The device showed she was awake and walking around at the same time she claimed she was sleeping. And in Colorado, police used Spotify and Netflix to track down a pair of fugitives who had fled to Mexico. So a lifetime of incarceration is definitely a negative. However, life is risks and some risks are worth taking. I know my ability to continue enjoying Pandora's Casey and the Sunshine Band Station and the opportunity to watch the second season of She's the Sheriff over and over are worth that risk. Suzanne Summers, a deeply misunderstood artist. We'll see you next week.